Welcome, kings and queens, to another episode of Unapologetic, your number one podcast. This is the show where kings and queens tell their legacies and on. So get ready for the gems to drop and pull up to the table because we're ready. There would be no Muslims. There would be no Baha'is. There would be no Catholics. There would yeah. be no Protestants. There would be, we would just be, which is fine. I had, this is, I'm not saying there, I'm not saying we're just be Jews. Well, Jesus was a Jew. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh my God. What, one last question. Uh, I, I'm enjoying this way too much. <laughs> I lose my whole I'm not. audience. <laughs> but but the, the, what would you want the world to remember Jane Elliott as? You know what I mean? No, no. You I don't have... want them. I know. No, no, no. I don't. No, 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 no. I don't want them to remember Jane Elliott. Mm. I remember them. I want them to remember the human race. Mm. I want them to remember. I want them to remember that when those boys march down the street with their tiki sticks and tiki torches and say, Jews will not replace us. Without Jews, we would not be. Christians wouldn't be. And mm. when men say, Blacks will white men say blacks will not replace us. The replacement theory scares them to death. Yes. They obviously, conveniently forget that without blacks, there would be no white males marching around saying blacks will not replace us. Mm. They need to remember that, but nobody has ever said that to them because they don't want to hear it. And if you have never said it and you're doing all right without believing it, why believe it? They think that's taking a step backward. It's not taking a step backward to admit that we're all. 30th to 50th cousin is taking a step forward into peace and justice instead of Christian love. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Christian love, Christian love got a whole lot of people burned at the stake. Yeah. For centuries. So, and Christian Christian love for 300 years they ran the crusades and killed people who didn't believe what they were saying. 3 Hundred years, and, and, and they, if years people still thing. believe in in that type of mindset and thinking, white is right, they, brown is 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 frown, and everything else don't matter. Yep. It, yep. Well, and my dad would say, my dad would say, you know, the difference between right and wrong, I'll do the right thing. God damn it! And I think he just swore. He'd look at me like, "You're going to correct me now?" And I, I said, mm -hmm. "Do the right thing." We all know the difference between right and wrong. Right. If right, wrong, if being wrong makes you more money, then paint it white and it'll mm. be all right. <laughs> oh, wow. That, <laughs> that quote is, I need to put that on the shirt. You need to make a, you need to make a, a shirt with that one on there. That was great. I've got I've got one that says God. God made one race, the human race. Human beings invented, created races. Right. <laughs> ah, and, and I see something. why. And I see why. Anything you, anything you, anything you create, you can destroy. Mm. We created racism. We can destroy, destroy racism, racism if we decide to. And yeah. that's what we need to do: is destroy racism. Destroying the race is destroying racism. When you talk about sexism, you aren't destroying sex, thank God, but you are destroying an ugly aspect of our mental, our mental um, machinations. It's time to put a stop to this nonsense. It's time to say differences are beautiful. And I, an analogy that I find useful is imagine that the human body, it's made of all different colors, mm -hmm. all different shapes, all different processes, all different organs, and you need every one of them. <laughs> right. <laughs> True. Oh my God. And everyone, there's a, there's a reason for every one of them. And if one of them fails, you die. Yep. Instantly. <laughs> very long time. So you see, if we get rid of one race, that'll mean everybody. Well, I think we should get rid of that race. Which race are you talking about? Well, that Blaker, there is no black race. Well, there is. Two. No, there isn't. There's only one race, and it's the brown race, and we're all members of it. So if you want to get rid of a race, you have to get rid of all of us. Including yourself. You need to go first. 
Yeah, are you volunteering to go first? If you're the one that's going first, you want to get rid of Harold Grayson, you go first. Here, let me push you off this hill. Let me push you off. Let, let's, let's go out in the water in a boat, and I don't swim, but I'll take care of the oars, and I'll push you overside. And if you swim, that's if you can't, that's too bad. We're just getting rid of a race. Miss <laughs> Elliot, man. Oh my God! Thank you so much for your time, and I, I I can't believe it, y'all. I actually did it. I'm talking to one of my favorite superheroes. <laughs> I'm a, I'm, I'm excited. It's gonna, it's gonna cost you greatly, and I'm not, <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not sorry for saying these things because I can prove every one of them. Exactly, receipts. I love it. I love it. But, um. You, you, welcome to a part of Unapologetic Family. I've been, like I said, I've been studying and watching you since I was a kid. You also was on one of my my best friend's show, Taye Uhuru, uh, Tay Speaks. Um, I watched you on his show and it was great, man. It was awesome. I had to cut it short because I was at work, but I finished off when I got home. But, uh, uh, but listen to me, listen to me. Do you realize what a compliment it is for an old pale faced woman to be listened to, to be promoted among people of color. Mm. That is a tremendous compliment for me because most of us haven't done anything that would make the world safe for those who are other than white. Mm. And most of us won't even admit, won't even admit that we aren't white. We mm. have to work really hard to yeah. perpetuate the myth of whiteness. There is no such thing. And the myth of blackness, there is no such thing. Young people who call themselves black don't like for me to say, you're not black, because it has taken them and their parents, and their grandparents, many, many years to get some kind of recognition and posit of the positive variety. Sure. You've got to kill off that nonsense before you can speak. It's springtime here, and now people are out in the fields plowing up the ground and getting rid of all the refuse from the past past year and pulling up that ground and adding seeds to it and fertilizers mm. because they want a new plant. Mm. That's what we need to do with mm. racism. That's we need to get rid of the old stuff. We need to get rid of the old stuff, get, add the seed that will make a new something grow, plant the new seed, the new idea that here is the truth. We're going to hear the truth and we're going to dig out the lies and we're going to deal with the truth we're going to it's going to be new to you but by the gods of war it's going to be a better place this field will be a better place once we get something new growing in it than it is with all the old corn stalks in it time for us to get out to get rid of the old old corn stalks and start planting the seed the reality the seed of reality which is there's only one race and we're all members of it and we look different because of our body's reaction, our response to the natural environment, it has nothing to do with being God's chosen children. <laughs> Get that out of your head today. <laughs> the way the color of our skin is our body's reaction to the natural environment. It has nothing to do with race. Y'all hear it, y'all. Man, the truth will set you free. Y'all heard it from Jade yeah. Elliott herself. But thank you all for tuning in uh, on this special episode on Unapologetic. I Man, thank you for the fan mail. I know I'm going to have some lot of comments. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait, y'all. But don't forget to like and share, subscribe to the show. Uh, we've been growing. Thank you for all the fan mail and the supporters that we do have. We thank you. We love you guys. And also, all the information for Ms. Elliot will be down in the, in the video in the description below. And it will be on all audio platforms. So don't be afraid to tap in. Get on her website at Jane, Jane, at Jane, at Jane Elliot com. Get those books. Get those exercises. And see for yourself how big of a difference it may be. And thank you, Ms. Elliot, for everything you have done. The contribution that you have done for us as a race is is unbelievable it's monumental i can't thank you enough thank you for listening to me thank you for giving me the chance to say it i appreciate it yeah thank you all right ladies and gentlemen stay tuned in we'll be back with another one for sure and make sure you subscribe to unapologetic bye miss elliot thank you
Bye now.